Hello then, welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 with me, Stocko Gloss. How are you? Okay, so we're back at the farm and we're gonna do some farming. Um, I've had a good look around. I, I, there's some really helpful stuff. If you look at help here, um, I'm not gonna go through into this now, but it tells you about the uh, how many crops there. Yeah, you know, there's ten types: uh, wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, oil, seed, radish, potatoes, sugar beets, and uh, poplars. I'm not quite sure what poplars are. Um, but yeah, it goes into uh, into good details. Now, what's really exciting, uh, this oilseed radish. Um, this oilseed radish is a special crop. You don't harvest it at the end, but dig it in. Once the plants are visible, you can use a cultivator on your field. It's a so-called green manure and works as a fertilizer, increasing your next yield by 30%. Whoa, that's huge. Um, but also, you've got to actually fertilize the field three times um, in order to get... So every time you, you fertilize, it adds 30% more. Um, it adds 10% um, when you plough a field, um, so that's how you get your 100%. So if you ploughed your field properly, it will yield 100% more crops, and then your harvest has actually doubled. So you can actually get quite a lot. If you're willing to put the work in, uh, you can get quite a lot out of your, uh, out of your field. So um, you can only field once uh, per growth stage. So as we know, the, the you know, um, in the in the previous seasons, you can see the field grow, you know, very small speck, and then you know, just a little green dot. Yep, okay, you can fertilize, and then it will grow a little bit, fertilize, it grow a little bit more, fertilize. That's your three times done, and uh, you're good to go. So I'm really really excited. Yeah, I think that's that's, that's fantastic. Um, but uh, yeah, there's some information. We've got some advanced knowledge, you know, about grass and collecting, you know, collecting grass, how to pick up. Uh, where you use grass, straw, chaff, silage, buying the fields, um, about animals, okay, so caretaking, you know, so we got pigs, sheep, and cows, and of course the chickens, um, and it just uh, says a bit more information right there, we got uh, obviously the forestry stuff, um, it shows you about information, uh, production recap, um, it helps you keep track of everything, so you got like, um, you know, what you do here, uh, how you basically get what you need. So if you're a bit lost and you've never played this before and you're thinking, oh, I really need uh, grass. You know, where do I get grass from? Oh, grass can be cut with a mower. It can be gathered with a loading wagon. Brilliant. And it gives you an idea of where to go. Um, making money um, gives you some ideas of great demands, finances. Uh, so the mission system, this is quite clever. Um, each time you complete a job, your relationship with the farmer will improve, um, which makes it cheaper for their fields. So we can actually buy their fields a lot cheaper. Um we got uh, some information on the shops, and also uh, you can actually move stuff now. You know, logs and things. So you can actually literally put it onto the trailer rather than having to do it all by the uh, the crane. You know, because my front loading skills um, tells you about the AI uh, Ewan, and um, yeah. So I, I found that I was really psyched. I think that's uh, that's some great stuff. So what we're gonna do? We're going to jump in here. We're going to start fertilizing. Uh, fertilizing. Start. Uh, let's connect. Let's just see if the home key works. Yes. Look at that. Because uh, I'm going to leave that on. For sure. Uh, I'll just turn this game off now. And uh, and go home. I am home. But you know what I mean. Um, let's start... Okay, unfold combine. So I've got to remember all these these keys again. It's been a while, so bear with me. Don't worry, I'll be sort of piping out without knowing about it. Oh, it just unfolds that little flap. That's fine. So let's turn the uh, turn the combine on. Let's get in the cab. So I do, I do think the textures have been. I do think the uh, the textures have been. Uh, uh, HD textures, I'd say. You know, they've been uh, updated. That's what I'm trying to trying to get at. Things seem a bit more, a uh, bit more clear, a bit more um, updated. <laughs> this is exactly what I said. <laughs> um, which I'm, I'm pleased to see. So we didn't have any uh, any chance to uh, to fertilise these fields the way we want it, as in you know try and get the bonus. Um, but um, we 
we'll just continue harvesting. Um, I believe it's is it the headlands I'm doing now? You know when you go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. I'm not 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 too sure. But I got some uh, got some exciting news for you actually, peeps. Um, I have signed a contract with a server company who is going to give me uh, access to uh, a good server loads of uh, gigabytes uh, a 16 slot farming simulator 17 server and um, I am going to be doing a multiplayer series now I don't really know how to how to roll this out and um, but I guess I need some thoughts from you guys on what the best thing to do is. I, d I don't know. Um, I've got this available, and I want you guys to to experience it. And you know, so I didn't want to say no because um, you know it's good fun. I love interacting with you guys. So it's got a TeamSpeak server with it and everything else, so we can all get on there and, and, and have a chat and and play the game that we all love love to hate. Um, so yeah. I, I don't know. Really, I'm just uh, just trying to get your thoughts on that. I don't know where you guys sit with it, and um, I don't know how we're going to do it so we make it fair. There's only 16 slots. I know there's uh, quite a few people that watch these videos that I love to get involved, and hopefully you all will at some point. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll get our thinking caps on, and maybe in a few episodes' time we'll have uh, we'll have a plan <laughs> of moving forward. But um, I think I'm kicking it off um, this Saturday, which is only a few days away. Um, I thought we'd do a live stream, and yeah, yeah, loads of thoughts going through my mind. I, I was just probably think about it before saying it, but uh, I'm just too excited. <laughs> um, I'm sure somebody's going to ask how the dog is, so I'm going to say the dog is fine. Uh, we actually thought. Um, she need to go in for another operation. I don't know if you guys can remember, but um, nearly two years ago, she had an operation on her leg. <clears throat> her uh, her knee kept uh, sort of popping out of her joint every time she bent her knee, and uh, so it's causing her a bit of pain. So we, you know, she had an operation, sort of sorted, and then um, we took her to the vets uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, the vet said, "Oh, um, her leg seems to be a bit sore," and you know. It looks like she might need another operation. So we're like, oh gosh, right, okay. Uh, so we booked her in for another operation. We, we took her in for the pre... The, is it called a pre-op? Uh, I'm making um, a meal out of this. Talking and doing stuff equals failure for me. Um, yes, yeah, so we, we took her in uh, for the pre-op and uh, yeah, they checked her leg and said, yeah, 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 her leg's uh, pretty bad. We're, we're going to need an operation. Like, right, okay, no problem. And... Um, yeah, we turned up, we dropped her off for the operation, you know, the, the wife was crying her eyes out, it was, you know, it was like we've just, uh, I don't know, just like given her up <laughs> for adoption or something, I don't know, she was, she was in a bit of a mess, um, and then we had a phone call at uh, 12 o'clock saying, oh, no, no, um, we've made a mistake, um, the, the bad leg is actually the leg that we've operated on, uh, we can't operate on it again, um, so, um, yeah, here's some tablets to <laughs> to relieve the pain, and we're like, oh right, okay, well. <laughs> so we was like gearing ourselves up and you know getting the house ready for uh, for a very upset dog, uh, and in the end she just come home and uh, cause ha havoc. So yeah, the dog's fine. Um, so she's in a you know a bit of arthritis maybe or um, I don't know, but she's she's always had. Not great legs, anyway. Uh, they've all been a, they've always been a little bit bad. But um, yeah, the dog's fine. Everything's fine. Thank you all for asking. I'm just presuming that somebody's asked. You know, it's gonna be a bit silly if no one's asked about how the dog is. But uh, yeah. But nothing, nothing's really happened, peeps. You know, it's been uh, a few months since I last recorded, and yeah, I've been really boring. Um, I had a, a, a drunken fueled night at um, an Oktoberfest uh, thing in uh, in Gloucester. That was that was good fun. Um, German beer is really really strong. 
<laughs> like, you know, I, I like to think I can hold my liquor, you know, hold my beer. But, um, yeah, that was, uh, that was something else. That was, um, literally, you know, level 10 stuff. That was, that was, that was, uh, you know, drink some of this and see you tomorrow. Um, but, <laughs> oh, we're full. Well, it didn't take very long. Um, okay, let's open up our pipe. Oh, a creaky pipe. I suppose we can get him started on cult. Do we want to cultivate this? It looks like it's growing. Is it growing or grown? Grown. Let's have a let's have a butcher's. Um, should tell us. Oh, there we go. Uh, sorry, 14, so harvest, so it's already harvested, okay, so, we're not, we're not really damaging anything. So let's hire Ewan. You can do that for us. Oh, look at those textures, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Look at that, eh? So once it's harvested, we've got to fertilise it. No, I guess we sow it, then fertilise it three times. In fact, we might need to plough this. Let's have a let's have a look again. Um, needs ploughing. There we go. So everything needs ploughing. So we do need to plough it. But I'm not going to plough it this time. I, I want to stagger it. So number fourteen, we're gonna we're just gonna. We're going to cultivate, and we'll play the next field. All right, let's leave uh, you into that. Oh, so this is seed. Okay, so that's been okay. So this is seeding. So we need uh, Zach to do that for us. It's cost us money. That's the thing. I don't want to do this, but. Uh, Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do we even know what we're receding here? Um, select seed. Okay, so we've got these funny little symbols again, which we don't really know what they are again. Um, I guess that's wheat, barley, canola, peas. Oh, I don't know. Uh, what's that one? Uh, crops. Uh, wheat. Yeah. Barley. Canola. Sunflowers. Soybeans. Oh, okay. I said peas. That's close. Um, we got um, corn. Uh, oil seed radish. So that's the, the funky horn looking thing. Uh, potato. Beets. And popular. I'm not quite sure what poplars are. Poplars. Um, you have to let me know on that one. Um, I don't think we need anything special for um, harvesting the root crops sugar beets and potatoes harvesting um now let's go with what we know yeah let's harvest um let's uh so bit of wheat okay um Why can't I change it? Oh, select seed is Y. I'm pressing O. Thinking, uh, why, why, why are you moving? Okay, let's go that. That'll do. Off we go then. Uh, Zachary, what are you doing? Okay, let's lower. Let's turn on the sower. Lower. There we go. That's quite a nice little. Uh, that looks pretty cool as well, doesn't it? Is that cultivating it as well as seeding it? Uh, I'm not sure. Another thing that these uh, machines have got—they've all got hours uh, usage, and um, the maintenance actually goes up. 
um, the longer you use them for which is really cool which makes you want to recycle the machinery um, because before you just have you know just a hoard of machinery everywhere uh, well now you know unless it's uh, efficient you just want to get rid of it it's costing you money um, talking of money let's go get some money yeah you can just see the textures just so HD just looks a lot better there we go what? we can get in a train? what? whoa we've got a train? Uh Oh hang on, I need to do this. Honk. Oh, it's a honk. Yeah. Okay, I never even knew that was in the game. I am totally why do you go on a train? I have no idea. Oh, you got two trains? <laughs> What? <laughs> That's insane. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, I just need to process that a minute. Um, we've got two trains. So I'm not quite sure what we do with the trains maybe it's just like for moving stuff around the map quicker um, but saying that the map isn't that big um, it's not not a huge it's not a huge pain in the bum to uh, you know to move things around the map I don't know if I've got a uh, a straw picker upper a baler I think I'm gonna go. Let's do it straight now. There we go. So yeah, um, I am so stoked. They've put tons of new features. Um, the micro management side of things is 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 probably my favourite. Um, I do like that in a in a, in a simulator to, to, and it especially works in multiplayer as well. You know, if you think about it, um, you know, we're not all doing one field. You know, there's many 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 jobs that you can be doing, um, which is great. I kind of want to level this out a little bit. Yeah, you can see the money going down where we're hiring workers, but uh, but needs must. Oh, we could um, use a not a tether, uh, a, a swash, swath. Oh gosh, it's been a while. Um, yeah, we could all you know to bring all this uh, straw together, and we can collect it easier if we really wanted to. Yeah, so I'm well psyched. I hope you guys are too. You know, it's, it's a long time coming. And, uh... Yeah, I've got some special plans. I want to retire with my hut in the middle of a lake somewhere. You know, with a good, uh, cool, you know, two or three million in the bank. 
And if you've seen any of my Let's Plays before, you know that how hard it is to keep hold of money for me in this game. As soon as I got money, it's like, oh, what can I spend it on? <clears throat> but I'm loving how smooth this game runs. It just, it feels, it's not skipping a beat. Um, it actually feels smoother than the uh, than the old game, which is mad. Yeah, so uh, you yeah, know, all props to to Giants. I think they've done it again. Let's bring it down. And I think to start with as well, there's going to be a lot of this watching me uh, sort of do some some manual work. Uh, I, I don't want to do too much hiring people because it costs a lot of money. As you can see, we spent nearly a grand already this episode just hiring uh, you and Zach to do a bit for us. But um, the fields are there; they, they need work doing. And what we could do, really, I don't know. I, I have to work out the mass, but um, we could get uh, you and Zach to do all the manual work on our farm and we could sub ourselves out and do some of the um, you know some of the missions for our farmer friends that actually might work out as long as we're covering the costs of you and Zachary uh, and um, <coughs> excuse me and pocketing a bit of money that actually might work out that might be a good strategy to start with um, I might look into that but as we go We're just uh, finding our feet. Don't know what to do with the straw yet. Uh, you can also uh, hire, uh, lease machines as well. So I'm glad they brought that into the game. Uh, normally it was a mod, a lease mod. Um, but um, yeah, they've put that into the game. It, it, it seems like, you know, Giant, this is what I love about it, is, is that they looked at all the mods that people have been using um, and they've incorporated it into the, in, into the next season, you know, which is into the next uh, edition. So. That's really, you know, really good props to, props to them because they could just do their own thing, uh, but they haven't. They, they, they've they've watched what we've done and and they've incorporated it, which I'm really uh, really pleased to see. All right, we need them in this field. So I'm not quite sure what to do really with the straw. Um, I don't know whether just to uh, just plow over it or because um, the field's not that big. I don't. Th I, I can't imagine this. Um, yeah, you know, this. I can't imagine for a second that this um, this yield, you know, is very high. So I think I'm just going to plow over it, move on, and. Um, And get this ready for the uh, for the next seed. Oh, it, oh I, I tell you what, it's so good. It's so good that you're having to manage the soil as well. You know, putting these these new uh, features in with the fertilizer at different stages. It means you've got to keep you've got to keep in touch with what's going on with your fields. You know, it's not. Oh, I love it. I think it's great. You've probably heard me say that about five, five, six times now. But uh, sorry. I'm such a fan of Farming Simulator, you know, it, I've been trying the others and, and, and don't get me wrong, you know, they got their pluses and I always, I'm, I'm a very positive person so I always look for what's, you know, the best, um, you know, but sitting here playing this and, and, and talking to you guys, oh, nothing beats it, you know, it's, uh, it's awesome to be back. I say that, and I probably haven't got any views on my video. <laughs> I don't know, because um, <laughs> I've been away for so long. I probably just do it. I just talk to myself, which is fine. I do this because I love it. I don't do it to get loads of views. 
But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just <laughs> assuming that there's people watching these videos. <laughs> it's a mad thing doing a Let's Play. And I, yeah, I was trying to explain it to some old boy um, at work, uh, Chris, and um, hopefully he'll be watching these videos. He said he's going to check him out, so if he is, then uh, holla. Um, but um, yeah, you just kind of sit sit in your office and you just just talk and laugh to yourself. It's it's, it's a mad. It's it's crazy. Um, it's a crazy feeling. Oh, you can see all the uh, all the seeds there. Right, there's a little bit more to go. I'm not worried about these little uh, tufts. But we'll pick up this tuft here. Okay, so that field, it basically, this is a pretty good uh, thing to look at. So it basically filled it filled up this um, combine twice so when we put the plow in and we you know we sort out the we sort out the fertilizing and trying to get a maximum yield we can also see then how many times it fills up this so it's a good little uh, stake in the grain that we can have a uh, you know have to measure it against oh my pipe's been out all this time <laughs> How are you getting on? Hey, you're not doing too bad. Looks very nice and neat. Hey, we doing well, you in? How's our Zachary doing? Yeah, fine. That's great. So that's seeded. So we've got to uh, we've got to fertilise this now, um, and then once it grows a little bit more, we fertilise it again. And it grows a little bit more, we fertilise it again, and that should give us our our maximum yield. Although this hasn't been ploughed, so we're going to lose ten percent. But that's not not too bad. Right, so this is full. Um, oh no, that's not pouring on the ground, is it? I'm not wasting it. I can't believe you got trains. No, you're not wasting it. Good. There we go. So solos. Where is the solos? What are we put in here? Uh, getting rid of straw and hay. If you have surplus of straw or hay bales, you can place them in here and receive some money in return. Okay, cool. So we can sell some straw in there. What have we got over here? Ah, this is our solos, probably. Solos! These solos are temporary storage for your commodities. Drive over the unloading spot with a full trailer and unload its contents. A symbol displaying the right shows you your own position to start unloading. To retrieve a commodity from, that, a commodity from storage, position a trailer under the pipe on the other side and activate it. The trailer will be loaded until it's full or until the storage is empty. Cool. And this is where you can actually buy extra storage. Um, oh, I see. And I is unload now, not Q. Metal tech. So I'm not quite actually sure what stocks we've got. Um, from oh, okay, so these are our, okay. Oh wow, okay, so we have got nearly fourteen thousand liters of uh, wheat. Uh, there's a great demand on at the moment, or a higher price at Mary's farm. So we're uh, we'll probably do that in the next episode. So we'll just uh, finish unloading the harvester, and that's where you uh, fill it there. Cool. So we'll fill it, and then we'll sell at Mary's farm in the next episode, and then we'll uh, we'll also start fertilising that one field there. Uh, got to keep a track of everything, you know. <laughs> I might have to uh, get my notepad out and just just keep a track of um, field numbers and where we are. Um, oh, I suppose that will, this is, this will tell us here, wouldn't it? Um, okay, so what we got? We got this has been harvested. 
Um, this one here has been cultivated. Well, it's been cultivated now, which is great. And this one here is growing. Okay, so you can kind of see that which stages they're at. Um, and you see the grow in here, really light. So you've got four stages, really light. So we want to fertilize here, fertilize here, fertilize here. And then when it's there, it's uh, it should pop into ready to harvest. Um, yeah, happy days. Right, that's that. Oh, there's a chicken coop down there. Oh, we've got, so we got some chickens. We better turn that to those beacon view. I do love the sound of the tractors over the um, over the mud. Brilliant. Well, there you go, peeps. I think that'll do it for this uh, this episode. We've done a bit of harvesting. We've uh, unloaded some uh, some crops into our silos, and uh, yeah, hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next episode shortly so uh my name is stop gloss thank you for watching farmer simulator 2017 ciao for now